NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Darius Garland is drawing comparisons to another all-time Cavs point guard. Four-time All-Star, Mark Price. Now, Price said, I do see it. I really like his game. They come into the NBA so young now. All Darius has to do is stay, and he's going to be a star for a long time. Well, if anyone would know, Kevin, it would be him. Back to you. You're exactly right. They're both dead-eye shooters, aren't they, David? We appreciate that report. Thank you. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. In at the guard spots, Morant in Bain. Then there's Jackson. Then it's Brooks. And it's Tillman in at the power forward. And for Cleveland, the defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell. And it's Okoro in at the small forward position. Well, great with this go. Memphis Grizzlies team. You like how young and how hungry they are. It's very appealing. And these players have bought into the system. This is a selfless group that knows each other's strengths, and it's why they've seen so much success here of late. Second chance shot. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. A superb offensive rebounder. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. Now the Cavaliers with it. Oats one up. John ja Morant grabs the rebound. For Cleveland, they come into this one following a loss to the 76ers in Philadelphia. feet out and he hits it the decision making keeps improving John Morant looking comfortable operating and pick and rolls this is it to Mobley and now just over a minute played here in the first a put back and staying with the play Allen Allen's got his second basket of the game I uh, love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Now here's Morant. Mobley with the block. And here is Garland. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Garland. on the shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up high offensive IQ he makes great reads and adjustments on the fly and Garland a finalist for most improved player of the year in 2022 took a huge leap forward with his play For Garland, he put in the work, and it all came together for him, G.A. His shooting reached a tipping point. It was given the keys as a playmaker, and this is a great situation for him and what he's made the most of. Brooks misses. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Mitchell against Bain. There's Garland, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. And you look at his numbers from last year, 89% from the line, so hard to ask for much more than that. Here we are, opening night, and these players, Steve, are just about as excited as the fans. You love it, Kevin. Preseason is over. Game one, it starts the real season. And yes, you want to get off to a great start. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's really after his sensational rookie season. I think people knew that John Moran had an unlimited ceiling. Kevin, now we know it's not just high. It's through the roof. Ja was Rookie of the Year, and he keeps up in his game. We could, Kevin, be looking at an all-time great. That's 
good from Morant. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. He's off on the second. Hey, Greg, talking about the great Ja Morant, this guy is just flat-out fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. Now Brooks following the three-point attempt by Donovan Mitchell, and the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That is his first foul of the game. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And the work ethic of Morant, fantastic at keeping his focus on the task at hand. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And <laughs> did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. Now, here's Okoro, and Mobley throws it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants Oh, to. you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. The Cavaliers leading by six. Kicks it to Garland. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And there's Mobley, and that's good on the assist by Garland. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Garland against Morant. Here's Tillman, uses the glass to finish the layup. Shows incredible vision for a younger player. John Morant, a skilled distributor. Mitchell passes to Garland. And the rejection by Morant! Payne looking around. Pass to Morant. His shot is good, scores his third basket in six tries, shooting 50%. What body control for Morant, able to take the hit and power through it all. Now, here's Mitchell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Morant with it. He's got eight. Down low. Here's Tillman. Jackson trying to break free. Gets it to go. That one good from Tillman. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Garland kicks to Allen. Allen a screen on Morant. Garland attacking the pass to Okoro. Five to shoot. And here's Mitchell from the arc. They get it again. Outside Garland. Allen with the screen for Garland. Lined up there for Allen. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. When you have an elite wingspan like Jared Allen, you make those alley-oops look easy. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis.
at this break in the action, we can show you the teams that had the most rebounds last season. Number one, the Grizzlies. They, they had such a strong presence in the paint. Just a physical team. They dominated the interior in terms of rebound. Memphis moving it around. Garland against Morant. Over Garland, and it's Memphis with another. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Allen with the screen for Garland. Pass to Okoro. And here is Mobley. Misses the fadeaway jumper. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. And stolen by Mobley. Here's Mitchell. Here's the drive. Yes, yeah, so explosive. More often than not, Mitchell will beat you to the spot. And you figured once Gobert was traded, it, it was a matter of time before Mitchell was moved as well. You knew a team would jump at the chance to add him. And here we are now. A new start with a star and roll for Donovan Mitchell. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, Wade, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. And Karis LeVert subbed in for a coral. Clark, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Jones comes in for Bain. Shooting two. First one falls. Smitty with Memphis. What do they need right now to make a championship run this season? Kevin, I think the pieces are all in place. It's a matter of luck on the injury front and staying focused when the pressure's on in the biggest postseason games. And Mitchell drops them both. Greg, an outstanding score, Donovan Mitchell. Takes it to another level in the playoffs, doesn't he? And Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight. And like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Here's Garland following the basket by John Morant. Pass to Levert. Three-pointer. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Trains it from beyond the arc. Mitchell's got five. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Steps back. Morant against Mitchell. Tries it from nine. And it's sent back by Allen. Mark against Levert. Pass to Mitchell. Let's it go with a three. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Eight points for him. 
And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end, sending shots away in incredible fashion, loving the hustle. And yeah, how about this team also following up their shots, getting those offensive boards, also a key for their success. Mitchell wide open. Offensive rebound, Allen. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high of field goal percentage. And Darius Garland picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Rubio's checked in. Memphis also making some changes. Aldama's checked in. And it's Williams in for Brooks. Morant against Mitchell. Morant left side. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. Every team is looking for that star to lead them to great things. Morant already looks the part. That's good from Morant. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. Both free throws, good from Morant. Your IGA they have, and the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Sexton. They nailed just about every one of their selections. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. Jones is running. And it's Morant. That time on the assist by Jones. Morant's got 17 now. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Clark outside. Just five on the clock. For three, and it's Morant missing. The Cavaliers leading by five. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got eight. Back to Rubio. Eight on the wing. And Allen with the slam. You really got to hit Allen if you want to stop him. Just so long and strong from there. Morant against Mitchell. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. The Grizzlies have shot 80% from the lines tonight going four of five so far. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Morant, no good on the free throw. We saw glimpses of John Morant's potential in his first two seasons in the league. But year three, both Ja and Memphis took it to another level. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That is his first foul of the game. Green, he's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Ricky Rubio. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Jackson comes in for Brandon Clark. And it's Bain in for John Morant. Jones against Garland. Out to Wade. Shot clock at five. Mobley, a screen on Williams, took the opportunity when he saw it. Another level indeed for John Morant, his third season Smitty in the NBA. And now he has joined the conversation for MVP. Kevin, that scoring average well over 25 points per game. Morant is the leader of Memphis. The Grizz finishing in the top three of the West. Incredible for a 22-year-old. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. 
And, and this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. One twenty-one left to play here in the first. From D, Williams. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Green finds Wade. Back to Garland. Down to five on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Now that one for Mobley. And it's a 10-point Cleveland lead. They continue to be outworked and outmuscled on the backboard. Jones for three. From downtown, the Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got six rebounds in the game. Now, Garland. He had 27 points last game. There's the pass to LaVert. Here's Mobley. Shoots a fader. Rebound by Williams. And that's really just not heads-up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Jackson, a screen on Garland. Williams for three. And so it's Cleveland going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a cruising game inside, and it's working for them. We come back right after this. so far through one quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in a second and from what we've seen from the Cavaliers what do you guys see well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Green is up there with Garland. Then there's Karis LeVert. Then it's Evan Mobley. And it's Wade in at the four spot. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Gets it to fall, the bucket from Bain. Impressive accuracy of Desmond Bain. He has put in the work to be a reliable three-point option. Garland, the pass to LeVert. Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Here's Bain, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Bain's got five points now in the quarter. Beautiful touch from Desmond Bain. So good from the mid-range. Wade dishes to Garland. Wade sets the pick for Garland. Lavert in the corner. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got his third assist on the night. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. Here's Jones. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next as a player 
How do you adjust to that? That's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I, I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. First free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built. And that's why they are in control. Now, here's Green. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Knocked away. It's stolen by Jones. Bain sets the screen for Jones. Buries the long-range jumper. Jones has got his first three points of the game. He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Timeout called Cleveland. Akoro's checked in for Cleveland. And now a look at the numbers for Jaron Jackson. Good season for him last year. Put up about 16 points a game. Just over two blocks and six rebounds. But that's just part of the picture. His defensive presence goes beyond the stat sheet. And also, his defensive performance can be measured by the lack of offensive stats put up against him. Now, here's Levert. Six points for him. Williams looking over the floor. Pass to Jackson. Back to Williams. Four on the clock. Bain passes to Algama. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Not only is he a deadly shooter from out there, but he is towering over his defender. Dishes it to Garland. Tipped away. That's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. And so it's Cleveland with it. They've led by as much as 10. They can't stop the run with that one. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Bain with the bucket. Bain's got the game tied up here for the Grizzlies. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. During Desmond Bain's first season, Greg, he shot over 43% from three-point territory. And that was top 10 all time for a rookie. And Bain's three-point numbers went up in his second season. From the start of his career, Desmond's been a premier shooter. Now Williams after Darius Garland missing on that last three-pointer. Bain against Lippert, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The shooting of Desmond Bain, it's special. Knocking down threes as good as anyone in the game. It's his first trip to the line. Falls and that puts him up by one point. So he gets them both. 
And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Their last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench was the difference. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Mitchell comes in for Karis LeVert. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Garland. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Memphis. Morant comes in for Bain. Mitchell outside. Misses and the dry spell continues. And it's Williams with the ball for Memphis. And they're off to Philadelphia after this game as they'll take on the 76ers. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Here's Brooks. Green with the ball. Good shot blocker for his size. Danny showing great timing right there. Mitchell. That one's good. Just his third make brings him to three for eight in this game. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Brooks feeling it out a bit. To the paint and stolen by Mobley. Rubio outside. Mobley sets the pick for Rubio. He kicks it to Green. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Memphis. Williams passes to Morant. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I'll tell you what, Ja Morant just keeps coming at the defense. Grizzlies have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. That's good from Morant. The upside Ja Morant has is exciting. An explosive young talent with an outstanding work ethic. Tillman, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. Both free throws, good from Morant. The Cavaliers trailing. Here's Rubio. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Mobley. 23 points for him the last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. Give him a lot of credit. He's always looking to be aggressive on the offensive end. Mitchell against Morant. Oh, oh, yes. As creative as they come, John Morant has a style that's specifically his. Mitchell against Morant. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Brooks misses. Cavaliers have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five to ten. Green, the pass to Mitchell. To the middle. Here's Mobley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And one thing that is special about Evan Mobley, made an immediate defensive impact as a rookie something few big men are able to do take a break take a break two shots
you throw good. Mobley, as you said, very few rookie big men, Greg, can shape a defense like Mobley did. Kind of reminds you of the impact Tim Duncan had with his defense. But Mobley can protect the rim and stay in front of guards on the perimeter. Boy, sky is the limit for him defensively. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Allen's checked in. Memphis is going to sublime four of four from three-point range since we've gotten in here in the second quarter. The shot, no good. And Cleveland will come the other way. They've led by as much as ten. Rubio looking around. Passes it to Okoro. Six to shoot. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Fast break, here they come. Here's Williams. Shoots over a Coro. And another miss by Memphis. And for the Grizzlies, they come in off a good outing against Utah. Over to the wing. Here's Mobley. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Mobley's got 14 points for the game. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Memphis. A different look now for Cleveland. Levert's checked in for Evan Mobley. Down to the Mitchell comes in for Danny Green. And it's Garland in for Ricky Rubio. The Grizzlies also making a change. Baines checked in for Jones. down the hatch. Notch one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. With the ability to beat his defender in a number of ways, Morant is truly a dynamic scorer. Mitchell kicks to Levert. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Mitchell. And it's Mitchell with the jam. That's the result of hard work. Mitchell just gets better and better off the bounce. Loads it up there for Morant. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. To the inside. And it's Allen slamming it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Now here's Morant. 25 points in the game. Coming off the pick, Morant looks to pass, and he is precise with the location. That's to Garland. Here's the teardrop. That shot, no good. Morant with some nice D. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him, but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack. Pain for three. Mitchell again, Morant. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one's on Morant. What determination from Mitchell. Shrugging off the foul and taking the shot. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Mitchell. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Evan Mobley's checked in for a core roll. <laughs> and 
And Mitchell drops them both. Strong, athletic, aggressive. Mitchell puts maximum pressure on the defense every night. Now here's Morant. A 20-point game for him in the win against Utah. And it wasn't just the scoring. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. Here's Garland after the made shot from Desmond Bain. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Floats it up for Garland. Hammers the alley-oop through. And we think of Donovan primarily as a scorer first. But there, fantastic pass. Morant against Garland. And that one drops. Morant's got 27. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Garland with it. He's picked up by Morant. And it's good for two. And the Cavaliers lead by five. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Shot from 12. And it's Morant missing. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Back to Mitchell. Fires for three. Aljama with the rebound. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Inside, out to Morant, the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. To the middle, it's deflected. There's 53 seconds left now here in the second. Outside, Bain. And there's the pass to Aldama. Just four to shoot. And they double up Morant. And Jackson gets it to go. I like Jackson's work inside. Can face you up or go over either shoulder, finishing with either hand. 26 seconds left here in the second. Back to Garland. A slam dunk by Garland and just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. And finished up by Morant. The quickness of John Morant is what makes his drives deadly. Where did he go? Fast to Garland. Goes up on the elbow. The shot, no good. Jerry. Garland has been leading the charge for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Ricky, how do you guys put this thing away in the second half? We got a lot of turnovers. We got a lot of layups, and that can happen. We have to take care of the ball. We'll see if you can do that, Ricky. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. How far down the road would you guys look on the schedule over the course of a season? Straight to the playoff, man. I was focused on the long game. The long game? You must be talking about your golf game. Well, you're going to start talking smack? Golf smack? Come on. You, you want to go there? And next up, let's take a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, who seem pretty well matched in their game. When you move the ball, it gets people in the flow and leaves the defense scrambling. Precision effort by them in the first half. I don't know if they can play much better, but we're about to find out. That's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. 
Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' five. The wingmen are Bain and Brooks. Then it's Moran. And there's Jackson. And it's Tillman in at the four-man position. He's gone two for two at the line so far. throw no good for mobile the grizzlies trail by five and part of the grizzlies breakout 21 22 campaign the emergence of jaron jackson jr triple j ga missed most of the 2021 season with a knee injury he sustained in the bubble when he was back at 100 percent for the grizz he provided serious rim protection plus the ability to hit a three here's moran Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Here's Tillman. Back to Brooks. Passes to Bain. Memphis moving it around. Great open look there. Moran's got 32 points in the game. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. And here is a Coro. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Brooks against Garland. Brooks misses. The Cavaliers leading by four. Down low. Ball stolen. Morant against Garland. And Morant gets it to go. Morant's got 34. Look how Ja just glides through the contact. He's such a nimble player. Allen a screen on Morant. The three from Garland. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Pass to Tillman. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Cavaliers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Morant against Garland. The pass to Okoro. Now here's Mobley. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Morant passes to Bain. Here's Tillman. Plays it up and banks it in. Tillman's got eight points. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And coaches looking to seize every advantage. Maximize every possession critical part of the game you have to be flexible you have to be able to adjust what you're doing
A moment here to look at the numbers for Brooks. Last season's performance for him. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Two assists and three rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. Here's Garland. 16 points for him. Pass to Mobley. Grizzlies with the rebound. Tillman's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Brooks kicks to Morant. With the teardrop. And he lays it up and in. Morant's got seven now in this quarter. John Morant's floater is the great equalizer. He doesn't have to get to the rim to do damage. Ireland with it. He's picked up by Morant. Mitchell against Brooks. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Jaron Jackson. Clearly a foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Free throw drops for Mitchell. And Mitchell drops them both. Here's Morant. He's got 36. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They've led by as much as 10. Morant against Garland. Passes it to Mobley. Over Jackson. And another miss by Cleveland. For Memphis, they've gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. There's the lob to Jackson up high to stop the alley-oop. Putting that 7-4 wingspan to good use. Jaron Jackson with the easy catch and flush. Mitchell against Bain. Beyond the arc. And it's Mitchell missing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Morant scanning the floor for the lead, and that's two points on the layup. Morant's got 38 points. Challenging the heart of the defense. John Morant can beat you with the pass or the shot. Harlan finds Mobley. Morant drives in. And it's sent back by Allen. Mitchell passes to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. He has done everything possible to keep his team in this one. What a performance from him. Garland against Morant. There's the pick. Pass to Tillman. Outside, Bain. The three from Morant. Connects from three-point range. Morant's got 41. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Mitchell passes to Allen. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts pressure on the opposing defense. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Memphis. For me, consistent penetration the entire game, and that's given them a lot of options. They took what the defense gave them tonight, and that was the mid-range. I mean, very consistent 
from that part of the floor. He's off on the first. And Cleveland making a change here. Wade's checked in. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for Memphis. He hits the second from the line. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. A two-point game. To the inside, Tillman. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Tillman's got 10 points. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. The feed to Mitchell. Loads it up for Garland. The slam dunk by Garland. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Dylan Brooks. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The, the points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustment. Memphis has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got eight rebounds in this game. Okoro kicks to Mitchell. For the lead, it's good from long range. Mitchell's got 19 points. At the arc, Donovan Mitchell can be devastating. He's a confident shooter who will take any look he gets. Here's Jackson. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Garland's got four rebounds in this game. And the defense of Jared Jackson Jr., it, it has become elite. Triple J finishing top five in 2022 in the defensive player of the year vote. Now, here's Mitchell. 19 points in the game. Another three for Cleveland. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Morant with it, and he's got 41. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Greg, why do you think Jaron Jackson Jr. made that leap defensively in his game? Kevin Health. Jackson was finally back to 100% in 2022. The ability Take to kind break. of fully use his physical tools. And Jaron's still learning from playing night in and night out. Now living up to that massive potential. And the first one at the line is good. For the Cavaliers, Lavert's checked in for Okoro, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. And Memphis also making a switch. Aldama's checked in. Both free throws, good from Morant. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. And Rubio kicks to Wade. Jones against Rubio. Wade sets the pick for Rubio. And another three for Cleveland. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Here's Morant. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Mitchell against Morant. 
way to screen on Morant. Here's Mitchell. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Morant with it. Garden now by Rubio. And they double up Morant. Stolen by Allen. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Now a moment to see the numbers for Levert. A very nice season for him last year. Put up about 17 points a game. Four assists and three rebounds. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Now here's Morant. 43 points in the game. Pulled loose. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Morant's got 45 points. Mitchell dishes to Wade. Fires from deep. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist by Wade. Having a monster night from beyond the arc. He had two bombs in the first half. Now three more since. Here's the pick. And Mitchell with a clear path to the hoop. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Cleveland. Their defense. It's their defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And another thing they've really excelled at tonight is protecting the rim. Shooters keep getting their shots swatted away by this squad. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. Down by 12. High arcing shot. Yep, that one goes in there. Morant's got 47 points. Cleveland's gone 4-6 from three-point land since the start of the second half. Mitchell is double to the paint. And it's Allen slamming it down. More from Allen can pile up points without wasting possessions. Very economical. Mitchell against Morant. To the inside. Here's Tillman. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his eighth assist here tonight. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Now here's Levert. He's got six. Allen with the screen for Levert. Kept alive. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Evan Mobley's checked in for the Cavaliers. Memphis also making some changes. Clark, he's checked in for Tillman. And it's Bain in for Dylan Brooks. And here are the Grizzlies now. A 12-point game. Morant against Mitchell to the left wing. Here's Aldama. And a miss there on the triple. The Cavaliers shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. 
Here's Mitchell. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. Grizzlies trail by 15. 44 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And another miss by Memphis. Cleveland's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're 4 of 7. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Thirty seconds left in the third. Here's Mobley. No good. Some solid defense from Clark. Here's Morant. And then Morant slams it in. You love to see that kind of elevation from your point guard. John Morant, a reliable finisher. Avert, Aljama with the rebound. Here's Bain. Plays it up off the glass. Bain's got 16. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. And so it's Cleveland holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Back right after this. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feed. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. At the guard spots, we'll see Garland and Levert. Green out there with the coral. And it's Mobley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five for Cleveland right now. continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep sense. Good. And Green picking up the assist. Garland's got four points in the quarter. And that's a great pass. Danny Green showing us he can do more than D it up and three it up. Outside, Dane hands it from downtown yeah that's a great shot third three of the game for him first in this half the Cavaliers leading by 12 the pass to Mobley over Clark pulled the shot a little left but the bounce goes his way that's now 22 points for Evan Mobley Levert against Bain and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. There's an aggression and a confidence to Desmond Bain's game. 
it helps them get to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Bain. That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. There's Garland driving to the basket. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Garland's got 24 points. Jones looking for an opening. Pass to Bain. Inside. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Jackson. I just love the way Jaron finishes inside with either hand. The defense can't really take everything away. Garland against Jones. Now here's Mobley. Guarded closer. It's good. Mobley's got 10 points in just the second half. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Great communication on the alley-oop. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Bain against Levert. Clark a screen on Levert. Bain passes to Clark. And stolen by Mobley. There's Garland. Okoro dishes to Garland. He doesn't hit that one. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Bain against Garland. On the wing, Williams. From deep. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Williams has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. It's good. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down in the middle. Outside, Jones. Addition out to Williams. Five on the clock. There's the three. Great tee that time from Green. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Passes it to Garland. Garland is doubled. Lavert in the corner. On the three off target. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Bain against Levert. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's on Karis Levert. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And every year, it seems like outcomes in the playoffs can hinge on health. Steve, it's part of the game, as you well know. It is, Kevin, and we hate it because obviously health can change the direction of a series or a team. But the one thing teams are doing a better job is they are lengthening and going deeper into their bench. A 
and he's good on the second. Here's Garland. For the three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Tillman's got five rebounds tonight. Now Brooks. He dishes it to Jackson. Just five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And the basket by Jones. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Here's Levert. Pass to Okoro. And here is Mobley. Low block shot. Tries again. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Williams, he's checked in for Bain. He throw good, Mobley. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They trail by 14. A fadeaway. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. And the pass to Levert. Down to five on the shot clock. It's Garland. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Uh, at six foot eleven, Allen a legitimate threat to finish through the rim, especially when given that kind of position. Brooks against Levert. Brooks outside. Shoots over Levert. Brooks misses. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Garland against Jones. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Mitchell, he's checked in for Levert. Memphis also making some changes. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Tillman. Bain comes in for Williams. And it's John Morant in for Jones. He throw good, Garland. The Grizzlies trail by 19. Morant outside. Shoots over Garland. And good! He hits it again. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Allen at the screen for Mitchell. Got a piece of it. Mobley kicks to a Okoro. The wide open look here for Garland. Gets a very good look and converts. And that's 31 points for Darius Garland. Morant with it. Now defended by Mitchell. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And the Cavaliers making a change here. LaVert's checked in. done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. The Cavaliers leading by 16. And here is Mitchell. He takes it in. Oh, 
Donovan the dunk by Mitchell. I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. Here's Moran. Again, what an avalanche. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Levert. Hooks covering. Feeds it to Garland. Over Brooks. Garland, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 16. Here's Bain. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Passes it to Garland. Shoots over Morant. Here's Allen. Wow, that makes him a perfect 10 for 10. Double digit perfection. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? His perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. The nine foot shot. Good, that's another bucket. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA, really taking it to the opposition. Mitchell passes to Allen. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. And that one falls for Allen. That one misses. And Morant's got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. 15 point game. Stolen by Allen. Mitchell with it. Allen a screen on Morant. Mitchell against Morant. Looks it out to Garland. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Hits it again. Wow. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Good shot. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. To the middle. Here's Allen. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got his eighth assist here tonight. Garland against Morant. And they double up Morant. And stolen by Mobley. Portland against Moran. Mitchell outside. Oats it up for Garland. Stolen by Brooks. Outside, Bain. Pass to Brooks. Back to Bain. Jackson kicks to Brooks. It's stolen by Allen. the wing Mitchell guarded by Bain count it good and this is what they wanted I mean to announce their presence in this matchup with authority very decisive it can definitely be considered a statement win for the Cavaliers a beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels but there were some spectacular dishes in this game but you know what it was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots and it'll go down as their first official win of the new year.
and bragging rights between these teams were on the line today, and they put in some very good work to earn it. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Donovan Mitchell. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. A different look now for Cleveland. Wade, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. Green comes in Shoot for two. Mitchell, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. First one falls for him. Both free throws, good from Morant. 34 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Over to the left wing. Morant against Rubio. Kicks to Allen. Clock at four. Three-pointer. Levert sinks the three-pointer. And the Cavaliers lead by 19. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.